Hi there, this is the 2023 October November variant of IGCIC Mathematics Paper 2 Extended. We're going to be going through the solution to some of the questions in this video. If we are unable to finish up, we'll comp complete it in a next video. So the rules remains the same. Always ensure you follow the instructions before the instructions will be clearly written on the front page of your paper always remember to follow them so going straight to question number one the first question said write 24.0789 to two decimal places two decimal places simply mean two places after the decimal and as you can see, this is the decimal point. The first digit is zero, followed by seven. So we are going to leave those two digits after the decimal because it said two decimals. Now the immediate number after the second digit is eight. So we are going to check if this number is greater than five or less than five to know if we are rounding it up or we are rounding it down. Because it is greater than 5 by inspection, we are rounding it up. So this means that the answer for this question is simply 24.08. The second question said, correct the same number to the nearest 10. This is nearest 10. It means that we don't need the decimal place. So we have 24. So to the nearest 10, we go to the unit digit and see if it is greater or less than 5 to know if we are converting, rounding up or rounding down. Because it is less than 5, we are rounding down. So this will make this 20. So 2 remains the way it is. And the 4, because it is less than, is the digit we are rounding, so it becomes 0. If it were to be greater than 5, it should have been, if it were to be 5 or greater, then we would have rounded it up and it would have been 30. So in this case, it remains 20. Question number 2 says, write down the number that is 9 greater than negative 23 so let the number be x for instance so it means x is simply negative 23 plus 9 and this will simply give us negative 14 moving on to the next question v is equal to u plus a t find the value of v when u is 30, a is negative 2, and t is 7. First of all, you need to check if the formula needs changing. Because they said v is equal to uat, and we are actually looking for v, the formula needs no changing. We just need to substitute these values into it. So it means that v is equal to u is 30, then plus a is negative 2, then t is 7. We open up our bracket. So we have 30 plus when you multiply this, you have negative 14. And that's 30 minus 14. And that is simply 16. Let's look at question number 4. Question number four says, change 62,000 millimeters to kilometers. If you have an idea of this division, here you have meter, here you have kilometer, and on the extreme end there you have millimeter. We have been asked to change 62 millimeters to kilometers. From here to here is 1,000. From here to here is 1,000. 
So if you are changing from millimeter to kilometer, we are going backward, so we are dividing. So whatever the value is, we are going to say 62,000 divided by this is 1,000, this is another 1,000, that is 1 million. So this is simply, this cancels this, and this 1,000 is going to be 1, 2, 3, so you have 0 0.062. Kilometers. Moving on to question number five. For question number five, the diagram shows two intersecting straight lines crossing two parallel lines. So you have the intersecting lines and you have the parallel lines. Find the value of x. Now, to solve this particular type of question, imagine that this line is not here this particular line is not here so it would mean that this angle here this 114 is simply the same as this angle here by alternate angle theorem so if here is 114 the whole of this place is 114 degrees alternate angles the fact that here is 50, so it means that this angle here is also 50. That's the vertically opposite angles. So if here is 50, here is going to be 50. That simply means that for this place, I have 50 degrees. Now, here is x and here is 50, but altogether, it is 114 degrees. If we bring that out, we simply have x plus 50 degrees is equal to 114. That's the relationship between them. Then we can solve for x here to say x is 114 minus 50 degrees. And when you press your calculator for that, this will simply give us 64 degrees. So here is 64 degrees. Moving on to question number six. Explain why 111 is not a prime number. A prime number is a number that can be divided by itself and one. So it only has two factors, itself and one. But when you look at one, 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 you see that it is divisible by three times three times three in twenty three in one, one, one is simply three, seven, three times thirty seven. So you have the number itself which is 111 is a factor. 1 is also a factor. You have 3 and you have 37. So because it has 4 factors, it cannot be a prime number for that reason. So that's what you just need to explain here in your own words. So you can just simply say, say that it has factors One, three, thirty-seven, and itself. So this is one way to explain, or you can just say it has more than two factors. Just find a way to make sure that this idea is represented in your explanation. Going to question 6p, find a prime number just one prime number between 110 and 120. Remember we said a prime number is a number that can only be divided 
by itself and one so if we are looking for a prime number between one 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 zero and one twenty it means we are counting one 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 two like that and then we now have to check which of them has other factors then we eliminate those at the end of the day we've just discovered that one 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 is not a factor one one two will not be a factor because it is even and can be divided by two the only prime number that is even is two itself so it means we are going to strike out all even numbers between 110 and 120 so if i list those out i have 110 111 112 113 They said between these two numbers so this and this are not originally part of these numbers and we are also striking out the even numbers all even numbers are out we also have confirmed that 111 is not a prime number so we are left with 113 115 117 and 118 115 is divisible by 5 so we strike it out as well so we now have to check the remaining three d numbers 117 is also divisible by three that's uh, 39 so that's not also part of it so we are left with just two the two of them are prime numbers but we need only one so either you say 113 or you say 119 you will be correct Going to question number seven. Find the bearing of Q from P. This is Q identified. This is P identified. Okay, so what we need to do is to, this is a parallel line to the east. So there has to be another parallel line here like that. So, if here is 39, here must also be 39 by alternate angles. Now, the whole of this angle here from the North Pole to this place is 270. Now, if we take out 39 from that, whatever is left is our answer. So, this is going to be 1 and this is going to be 3 to 31 degrees so the bearing of q from p is to 31 degrees moving on to question number eight without using calculator work out the o number one over eight minus one or number three over four you must show all working and give your answer as a mixed number in its simplest form so what we need to do there are two ways to do this you can do three one over eight minus one three or four you can do the subtraction like that so you have three minus one which is two the LCM of eight and four is 8 so you have 1 minus 6 which is going to give you 2 number negative 5 over 8 this is not allowed so you are going to borrow 1 from 2 that one you are borrowing is the denominator value so that's 8 so you are left with 1 here so 8 plus negative 5 is like saying 8 minus 5 and that is 3 over 8 and this is your final answer 1 number 3 over 8 because we are told to leave our answer as a mixed number or you can also change it to improper fraction each of the numbers so you have 25 over 8 
minus 7 over 4, then you have 8, 25 minus 14, and this will give you 11 over 8. And when you change that back to mixed fraction, you have 1 on number 3 over 8, which is the same as this. Question number 9. We do 9 and 10 and we round off with this video, so we continue in another video. Write 90 as a product of its prime factors. So 90, if I break down 90 like this, divide by 2, I have 45. Divide by 3, I have 15. Divide by 3, I have 5. Divide by 5, I have 1. So this here are the factors I'm looking for including this one so you have 1 times 2 times 3 times 5 there is a 3 I left out so times 3 times 5 it's as simple as that moving on to the last question for this video expand and simplify so open up your bracket 2 times t is 2t plus 2w plus 3w minus 3t then you simplify so this is 5w minus t So we'll stop this video here. Remember to continue the video in the immediate video on my channel after this one. Remember to also subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.